Hey guys, happy Sunday. I hope you're all having a really good day today. So I just got home from work a few minutes ago and I thought since I still have my makeup on and I'm not completely exhausted that it would be a really good time for me to do this collective haul that has been sitting here piling up for the longest time. So this is an incredibly collective haul. There's stuff here from Ulta, there's stuff here from the store where I work, there's stuff here from Sephora, there's stuff from Colourpop, and it all kind of came in in dribs and drabs and now there's more than enough so I'm going to get into it show you guys what I have and hopefully you guys will enjoy um, if there's anything you want more details about feel free to leave questions in the comment section and if you guys have any recommendations for things you think I need to try let me know about those as well because I'm always curious about new products um, the first few things I got are actually repurchases or like replenishment type of deals they're not as exciting so we'll talk about them first very first thing I even forgot to mention I went here this is from the body shop this is the all-in-one face base um, and it is a powder foundation I use it as my setting powder pretty much every day it's reflective as all get out but this is what the color looks like it is a little bit yellow for my skin tone but I have a lot of red in my skin and this neutralizes me this is like the only powder I've used since like 2010 or 11 and I swear by it um, the one that I've been using currently not only isn't shiny anymore, the logo has worn off, and this is how much product is left in there. So in another day or two, this is going to like break apart and be gross. So I have a new one now, and I'm very excited for that. Uh, the next thing is another repurchase. This is the Lorac I'm So Sensitive Soothing Face Primer. This stuff is amazing. I used to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Light. But that one actually has silicone in it, and this one does not. And this one is a much better moisturizer. It irritates my skin way less, if at all. Um, and it's amazing. So if you guys have oily skin or your skin tends to break out from product, I highly, highly recommend this primer. I'm so sensitive. It's really, really good. It's like the best one I've ever tried in my life. So there's that. And then the last thing that is a repurchase, this is also not that exciting, but it is exciting because it means I get to wear eyebrows. This is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown. Um, my store has been selling this brand, but I think we're going to stop, so I'm very distressed because I won't get my discount on it anymore. But I've gone through like 10 of these, honestly. It's amazing. It's the best brow product I've ever found in my entire life, and I, I can't even fathom. I tried the NYX one. I was hoping that that would be a good switch for me, but the shade was too warm, and there's just not a perfect match, so whatever. Okay, this was a point perk from Sephora, so we won't focus on it for too long. This is the Marc Jacobs Fine Liner. It's an ultra skinny gel eye crayon, so it's just like a really thin black liquid liner. It makes a really fine line. I used it on my eyes once. I got a lot of compliments. I really like it. Um, I would buy it in full size, but I probably would buy the thicker one first because I prefer a thicker line. Next, I have a few lipsticks. Um, I keep telling myself I'm not going to buy lipstick because they're a cream product and they're not going to last as long and blah, 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 and then I end up with more lipsticks. So this one is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creed, Creed? NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade 23, which is Berlin. And it's hard to tell with these because the tube is like colored plastic. I think this is a dark brown. Oh, it looks like poo. When I put it on my hand, it literally just looks like poo. That is very brown. That is a very, very brown lip cream. We will see what I can do with that. But for like $3 or whatever it was, worth it. Uh, the next lipstick is actually the one I am wearing today. This is the Smashbox B Legendary Lipstick, and it is a matte shade, and it is in Safe Word which I think is a hilarious name. I think some people have been watching a little too much Fifty Shades of Grey. This one is also a brown, but it's like more of a rosy brown. And again, it is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Um, I did a little swatch of it on my hand for you. If I just, okay, I'm like, did I just squish that lipstick? So here is Safe Word right there. You can see it's like a really neutral nude shade and I like it very much. Um, then I have a couple of the Ciate liquid lipsticks. This is the Ciate liquid velvet matte lipstick. I bought one. I fell in love with it. I went back and bought another and now I think I want to go online and order a couple more shades because I was blown away. These take a while to dry down. They stay pretty wet for a while. They transfer a little but they're so creamy. They feel like a regular lipstick with like the benefits of a liquid lipstick. This one is in the shade Smitten and this is like a coral rose color. It's unlike anything else I wear really which is really nice it's very unique for me 
Kind of reminds me of Nars Anita, but way more vibrant. So there's Smitten right there on my hand. The next one is another one by Ciate. This is the Liquid Velvet in... I don't know what shade it is. Hold on. I should have taken stuff out of the boxes. This is in Pinup. And this one is like a rosy, mauvey, brownie pink. Very like traditional color for me. Very classic. Kind of like what I always wear on my lips. But I love it. It's right there. It's nice. It's dark. I thought it was pretty. I wore it one time. And then the last, well, sort of the last, the last of these. Okay, so this is a Stila Stay All Day liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Patina. This one was sold out at my store for literally two years, and we just got it back in stock. We got four of them, and they were gone in one day. In one day. It's totally gone already. So it is absolutely beautiful. It is a very dupable shade at this point. Everybody makes a version of Patina, but this is the one that like started the craze. And the formula on this Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks is impeccable. One, two, three, four, five lipsticks, gee. Okay, so that right there is Patina. And as you can see, it is kind of similar to Pinup, but it's a little more of a light pink. So there's some lipsticks. Um, okay. And then I, actually, there's more lipstick. These were from my store. These I did not pay for. Um, everything else, I did purchase everything else in this video I paid for with my own money. Blah, 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 disclaimer, disclaimer. But these I received for free. So first I have two lip liners by Vincent Longo. They're both double-sided, so this is four colors. I have the Duo Lip Pencil in Fuchsia and Roseberry and the Duo Lip Pencil in Wine and Peaking Red. So... Let's just swatch these guys for you real quick. Not bad. Okay, there's Peking Red and there's Wine. Now there's such a bright pink. That's the fuchsia, no wonder. Okay, and then there is Fuchsia and there is Roseberry. Roseberry is great. I'll probably get a lot of use out of that lip color. Drives me crazy how they're dual edged though. They keep popping open. And then these things are from the brand Gorgeous Cosmetics. Oh, I touched some wet lipstick. Gorgeous Cosmetics is an Australian makeup line. Um, they are like the Australian MAC, according to them anyway. And this is their lip pencil in red carpet. That's a very orange-based red. There it is right there. And then this is their lipstick in gorgeous red. Must be like their, you know whatever their color they're like signature color and it's also okay they're both just like a true red a little bit orange based but not bad one's a little more of a blue tone so there's that one and i said i was done with lipstick okay i'm gonna do the last lipstick i actually do have here so i can really be done with lipstick um color pop was doing um a like a clearance on their discontinued eyeshadows. This is a liquid lipstick. This was not discontinued. This was the full $6, but I thought it would be pretty. So I bought this and I'm actually surprised now that I have it home. It is really, really, really dark, darker than it even looks in the tube. This is in teeny tiny and I do like it, but it is a really, really dark shade and I like their formula. It's a really thin formula. It dries down very quickly. This one... What did I even say this was? Oh, this is that brown one by NYX. I'm like, what is this? This brown one by NYX, it's almost as, well, this one is almost as dark, but this is like a purpley, mauvey, browny, lilac-y taupe thing. So this is Teeny Tiny by ColourPop. And then before I show you the rest of the stuff by ColourPop, let me show you the other couple things. So, I'm sure you guys know by now, if you watch beauty videos, that Kathleen Lights and then Jaclyn Hill have both been hyping up the Mally um, highlighter and blush duo that's been out forever. And it's been out forever. I've had it on my Ulta wish list forever. I always wanted to buy it in the peach blush because I like that a little bit better than the pink one. But it's sold out on the website. It's sold out everywhere. So I was in my local Ulta just a few days ago and they had one in stock. And it was the pink one, not the peach one. But you know what? I've wanted it for so long. And now that it's getting the hype that it deserves, I was like, I have to get it. Forget this. It just has to happen. So I finally have it. It's the one with pink, not peach, but that's okay. It comes with a dual-sided brush, which is awesome. It drives me crazy because where am I going to put it? 
Um, so it's got like, these aren't as soft as these. I wonder if it's like natural and synthetic or what the deal is, but it's a nice dual ended brush. Um, I just have no idea where I'm going to put it, I guess, with my dual ended eyeshadow brushes, even though I don't have a designated spot for dual ended face brushes. It's going to send me into a tailspin. So this is the Mali Effortless Airbrush with Pure Light Highlighter and Pretty in Pink Blush. I'm just reflecting the heck out of you guys. I'm so sorry. This is what it looks like. Um, the Pretty in Pink Blush. You know, it's okay. I mean, you know, it's okay. It's not like I hate it or anything. That's it right there. It's a pretty shade of blush, but this highlight is supposed to be a dupe for like that MAC one and what is it called? Whisper of Guilt, I think, or some Estee Lauder. I don't know. I don't know the ones it's supposed to be a dupe to because I don't own any of them. But like I said, I've been wanting this one for years. And now that it's getting all that hype and acclaim, I just had to. So there's the highlight right there. I swatched it kind of thick, but I am wearing it on my cheeks today. And honestly, I wasn't sure if the gold would be too much for me, but I've gotten a compliment on my makeup every single day that I've worn this. So we love this highlight. Okay, we are running out of time. We got to go a little faster. Last thing that is not ColourPop is this Urban Decay Urban Spectrum Shadow Palette, limited edition, exclusive to Sephora. It's in the same kind of packaging as their 15th anniversary set. So I am a sucker and I bought it because it's Urban Decay. Looks like this, like a jewelry box type of deal. The shadows come out so you can reuse the box. This is what the shadows look like. I will literally only get use out of one, two, three, four, five of the shadows. I will never wear most of these, so I'm a sucker. When they tell me Urban Decay in limited edition, I'm like, please take my money, apparently. But it is a fabulous set, and I'm not sorry I have it. I just, you know, wonder what the psychology is behind my decisions sometimes. Okay, we're running out of time. We really are. I will literally only have three more minutes before I won't be able to upload this. So we're not going to swatch the ColourPops, you guys. Now, as I said, ColourPop was discontinuing these shades. So I went ahead and bought all the shades they were discontinuing that I liked because I know I'll never be able to get them again and I'll be really pissed off. So this one is in Famous and I think it's a metallic. We're really going to run out of time if I swatch them all. It's like a light gold metallic and it's very pretty. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. The next one is a goldish silver metallic, and this one is called Glitterati. It's also very, very pretty. Um, it's more silver than what I usually wear these days, but I'll try to work it in. This one is called Stereo, and it is a dark purpley brown metallic. Again, I bought them because, like I said, I knew they are being discontinued, and I know I'll never see them again, so I couldn't cope. Uh, this one is called Boy Band. And it is a nice coppery metallic. This one looks really cool. I'm actually surprised I didn't buy it sooner. And then the last one of these is called Disco Ball. This was the one I was kind of iffy on because it's like a black with like gold glitter in it. But I figured there might be an occasion for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. And then the very, very last thing I have in this haul. This was on sale actually. This is the Blitzed Super Shock Shadow Collection. Um, this came as a set like this and it was marked down and it was also discontinued. So I was like, okay, I have to do it. It's got a mirror, which is really cool. This is the first time ColourPop has done this format. And then it's got six shadows in there. And they are in Valley Girl, Thirsty Girl, Fan Girl, Party Girl, That Girl, and Roller Girl. So I don't want to pull all of them out because, like I said, I'm quickly running out of time. But there's a white, a copper, a purple, a matte pinky peach, a kind of, like, greenish gold, and another black with, like, rainbow glitter in it. So that is my bigger than anticipated makeup haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like makeup hauls. Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing that I picked up was or what you would try if you had these things or if there's something here that you guys think is just awful that was like a complete waste. But I thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much. Um, if you are not already subscribed and you'd like to be, just go ahead and do that. I always love getting to know new people and I will see you all in my video tomorrow. Bye!